There are very few infectious diseases in Australia that can take a healthy adult or healthy child to death's door within a question of a few hours. Invasive meningococcal disease, although rare, is a disease that can cause catastrophic outcomes. One in 10 people who get invasive meningococcal disease will die because of invasive meningococcal disease. And one in five people who survive will be left with severe disability, deafness, blindness, maybe amputations. And so it's really important to respond very quickly if one sees the early signs and symptoms and seek urgent medical care. This is the best opportunity of getting appropriate antibiotics that could save yours or your child's life. Symptoms that one must be on the lookout for are a high fever. Sudden onset of a high fever is often the first sign of invasive meningococcal disease. And then there are two forms of the disease. The one is a meningitis picture, and with that you often see with the high fever is a severe headache, an intense dislike of bright light, neck pain or stiffness, and often a difficulty rousing the person or child. On the other hand, there's the sepsis picture, and with sepsis there's still the high fever, often nausea and vomiting, and then one might notice that there is a discoloration of the skin, often a pallor of the skin, the skin is pale, there may well be very cold hands or feet despite a very high fever and then sometimes the telltale spots that appear which are often reddish in the beginning but then flow together and become reddish purplish patches and what we find is despite pressure that they don't become pale. Those are urgent signs that medical care should be sought. In fact the earlier the care is sought the better chance of a good outcome. So never, never ignore those signs. The other important thing that we do have is that we can prevent many of the strains of invasive meningococcal disease by vaccination. And in Australia, we have a funded vaccine against the A, C, W and Y strains for all children aged 12 months. There's a B vaccine that's recommended for children and funded for some children. And then all teens get an opportunity and at year 10 to get an ACWY as well. What a wonderful thing to get a vaccination and prevent the possibility of invasive meningococcal disease.